Hey guys and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this needle plane. And to make this you're going to need a rectangular sheet of paper. And to make this I used an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper which is the same as a regular sheet of printing paper. And as long as you use those proportions it should work out fine. Now this model is fairly easy to make so on that note let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. Okay so for this model we're going to start with a rectangular sheet of paper and the sheet here is the same size as an 8.5 by 11 sheet of printing paper. Now you want to start by folding it so that this edge aligns with this edge here. So you're essentially folding it in half. Once you've got it aligned, give it a nice crease. Unfold it. Now fold this edge to the center crease. Again, when it's properly aligned, crease it in. Do the same thing with this side, fold this edge to the center. Crease it in. Unfold the two flaps. Now we're going to create a crease that runs from this center crease right here. And at the same time, you want this tip to come and touch this crease. So to do that, you want to grab this flap, fold it down at an angle like this. Once you have it aligned, crease it in. So as you can see, the crease starts from this point here where you have the center crease and this tip is touching that crease over there. So now you want to do the same thing with this side, so grab this flap, fold it down at an angle like this, make sure this tip is touching that crease. Once it's aligned, crease it into place. Just like that. And you should then get this shape. Now we're going to fold it so that this edge comes in lines with the center crease. Once it's aligned, crease it in. Do the same thing here, fold this edge to the center. Once it's aligned, crease it in. Turn it. And once again, fold this edge to the center. So fold it down like this, crease it in, unfold it, do the same thing on the side, fold this edge to the center, once you have it aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. Now we're going to fold it so that this tip up here comes in lines with this point here. So fold it down like that. Crease it in. Unfold it. And you should get a diagonal crease running this way. Do the same thing on this side. Fold the tip all the way down to that point there. So once you've got it properly aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. Now we're going to grab both of these flaps here. If you'll notice, right underneath these two edges, there's going to be two diagonal creases. You just want to grab them, pull them down both at the same time like this. Bring them to the center. And as you do this, you're going to get this flap here, which is going to be standing straight. Crease on the back end. What you're going to do now is just fold it to the left, fold it to the right. Fold this edge to the crease right down there. So fold it down like this. Once it's aligned, crease it in.
unfold it and allow it to stand back up. Now you want to open it out from the center and push down against this edge and as you push it down it's going to collapse down into this shape over here. So now once you've got this shape here you want to grab this flap here and start to pull it up and you want to keep pulling it up until this edge and this edge come to the center. So find the point where when you pull it up high enough all of it flattens out into the shape here. Smooth out any edges that fold in an odd way. And overall you should end up with the shape over here. Now go ahead and flip this over to the other side and you want to grab this first layer here and pull it back as far as it'll go until everything locks into place. At that point crease it all in. And you should get the shape here. Now fold it so that this tip here comes in lines with the center point right there. So you want to fold it down like this. Once it's aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. Do the same thing on this side. Fold it so that this tip comes in lines with this tip. Just like that. Once it's aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. Overall, you should end up with this shape over here. Now go ahead and flip it over to the other side. Now you want to fold it along the center crease away from yourself, so fold it like this. Hold it sideways. Now turn it sideways and you should get the shape here. At this point you want to take this crease here and fold it the other way. So grab this flap and fold it the other way along that crease. Do the same thing on this side. Grab it. Fold it this way. And you should get the shape at this point. And you can adjust the wings accordingly. I'm going to fold it down a little bit more so that it looks a bit better, like that. And depending on how you adjust it, it may fly better or worse, so you want to play around with that and figure out how you want to fold it. But something like this should be just fine. And just to finish it off, you want to take the wing, fold it up just at a bit of an angle from this point here, all the way straight down to some point over there. So just put in a really light crease, like that, so that it just goes up a little bit. And finally do the same thing over here. And this step is optional, so if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. And your overall model should now look like this. And that's really all there is to it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.